let's learn now how to record and use and edit audio tracks. In order to create a new audio track, I'm going to go to my plus sign right here in the top left corner. And this time I'm going to select audio. As you can see audio tracks have a different icon. So the first thing I want to do if I want to record on audio tracks is to select the input of the audio track. Now to do so, the best way is to go to channel fader view and up here at the top, I can select the input. Now in this case, I have my iPad not connected to an audio interface. So my inputs are set to built in one and two. Here though, I can choose to record in mono. So from only one input or in stereo from both inputs. If I tap on other, I can choose specifically if I record in mono from which of the two channels I'm going to record. If I had an audio interface connected, I will see all my inputs listed here. So let's say I want to record a stereo track right here. And so I set the input. I can decide if I want to monitor through the iPad by selecting input, input monitoring. monitoring. And, and now you, you can, can see my, my voice, voice going, going through, through the, the iPad. iPad or just monitoring through my audio interface. So once I set up my input, now I can go back to the beginning and record my track. Test, 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 test. Microphone check, microphone check, microphone check, check, check. And that's the audio I just created. If I want to play it back, I simply go back to the beginning. Test, 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 test. Microphone check, microphone check, microphone check, check, check. Now let's say that I'm happy with this, but I would like to maybe um, give it another shot and give it another take. Check, 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 check. Microphone check, microphone check, check, check. So as you can see, I created another take on top of my current take. Now I can see that I have multiple takes because I have this new option at the top of my region that says A comp A. That means that there are multiple takes there present. To access the different takes, I can simply double tap on the region and select takes and folders. I can see here that I have my two takes, take one and take two. So if I want, I can unpack the takes and I can see them right here. So I have my two different takes and here I can access each individual take by soloing it and listen to that take specifically in order to see what check, I want check, to keep check, from that take. Check, check, check. Microphone. Test, 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 test. Right? So that's pretty advanced because I can really work on my takes as much as I want. So I'm going to undo what I just did. Again, if I double tap on a region, I can go to takes and folder. I can switch between takes. This is take two. This is take one. I can rename each take if I want. And I can also switch to different comp takes if I want. I can uh, uh, delete the current comp. I can flatten the comp. I can export active, active comp to a new track or move active comp to a new track. Again, if I choose unpack, I'm going to have my different takes move to brand new tracks and I can do editing right there. Remember that you can always switch to each take, right? So this is my take two. 
this is my take one and I can choose which one I want to use I can of course edit my current region and switch to the take I prefer the best way to comp takes in this case is to go to unpack and then pick for each take what you uh, what you like and then eventually you can always put them back on a single track if I want so if I unpack them I can say okay my audio take one this part actually was good my audio take two this part was better and then I can always just move this one here and so I have a I have a comp take right there now since we're here um, let's learn how to delete a track that you don't want so if you tap on this the track symbol you can select to rename it duplicate it or delete it so I can do the same here again you tap right here and then select delete and that's gone so again if I tap on the icon of a track I have all these options that allow me to do um, of course delete it but also I can rename it duplicate it I can create a folder stack if I want to group different tracks on the same on a similar folder or I can sum them up if I want the track to be layered together if I like what's on the channel strip I can also save the patch as a quick shortcut you can also delete a new tracks in case you have many that you want to delete in one single shot so now I have a couple of MIDI tracks and an audio track test 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 microphone check microphone check 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 you can actually also quantize audio tracks or audio material by selecting a region I can go back to my information area and under quantization as you can see I actually have the option to quantize audio exactly as I was quantizing MIDI so that's very very useful you can you know really uh, enhance your productions by maybe playing a part that is not perfect and then quantize it after you recorded it so that's very interesting it's a very great feature that Logic for iPad has if I want to do more specific editing I can always select the region that I want to edit bring up the editing tool and this time I can look at a more detailed view of my audio file or my audio region and here I have the usual option of trimming it loop it if I want split it so let's say I want to split this region here I can bring up the split tool place it where I want to split it and then simply swipe down to split it and now I have a brand new region right there I can also time compress it and time stretch it I'm going to talk about this in a second remember that I have my usual multi-select tool and duplicate tool available here as well now let's talk about time compression expansion this region plays at a certain speed now I'm going to solo it test 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 microphone check microphone check check but if I select a region I'm going to select my time stretch tool when I move the boundaries of a region instead of trimming it I'm going to time compress it or time expand it so if I time compress it that region is going to be played faster check microphone check 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 if I time expand it that region is going to play slower microphone check microphone check 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 so that's a very powerful tool that allows you to really go in fine details in terms of like editing your audio regions and audio tracks 